this is the third day of our trip of the Yangtze River. So what are your feelings about the trip so far? Yes, I had welcoming uh, to this uh, trip. I had special uh, ideas about that, because especially about the three gorges, perhaps China's history is incomplete without Yangtze River and three gorges. And in modern times, uh, it, it becomes more important because the transformation and change which I have seen last three days, it's marvelous and it uh, perhaps a uh, very apt expression of how the human beings can conquer nature. And uh, the quality of the infrastructure and uh, the new cities, of course, there are new cities because old cities submerged uh, in the water of uh, Yangs River. So the quality of infrastructure and the facilities provided by the Chinese government to the people, they're marvelous and uh, I don't feel any, while I travel, I have traveled a lot of areas in Sichuan, in Yunnan and in Chongqing. So I found that the quality is at par with at any area, developed area of uh, China. And basically one is that scenic beauty and the second is the tourism and uh, the cruises they are provided of course this year has been unfortunate due to covid 19 but it seems that things are getting to normal not of course at that level it, they were last year at the same time so from this area seeing this uh, the model seems very clear to develop tourism with the local characteristics the speciality of the local areas maybe it's food it's some historical place or it is the cultural affinity and especially while visiting this because Chongqing has become an independent municipality just uh, 23 years ago basically it was part of Sichuan so after visiting this area especially Fengtu, Wuxian and Fengjie and seeing that uh, white palace a white king's white king emperor's temple I have become far more clear I have visited a lot of temples but visiting that temple has given me a quantum jump in my understanding of Chinese history. And I take interest in poetry, especially of Levi and Tufu. I will read it again. And I have translated their poetries uh, from Chinese to Urdu language. So I can relate it to more. And I'm going to read them again and enjoy them more. And if possible, to have the feeling of that area, especially the terrain, the geography, of course, it will not be, it is not exactly as it was 2000 years ago, but still it is the same area where those amazing uh, poets were lived. So it is a remarkable visit, not from traditional point of view that you go and see num new places, but as an individual for my interest in Chinese history, literature, it has been a wonderful visit and uh, before embarking on the journey. I didn't know that it will be so much uh, enhancing my knowledge and uh, bringing me new avenues of uh, exploration and new, new ideas to think. So it is as always, this has been so far, very good, knowledgeable trip. And I has given me opportunity to see from close hands how the transformation of modern China has been unleashed and how the forces of nature have been conquered. And uh, one thing which I especially would like to mention, I was seeing in the internet, so I had a chance to see a map uh, of the area, the aerial satellite map. One thing uh, that is clearly visible, the water so resources have increased. But another thing which I noted was the greenery that uh, uh, the forestation has increased. And uh, as a matter of fact, on average, 13,000 square kilometers are lost every year in Asia. But in this area, the Chinese government is already adding 6,000 square kilometers every year. So that is marvelous. And today in the boat trip, they told us that uh, in these gorges in Shaosha that the Shao Sha, Sansha, uh, for next 10 years, it is already national park, but 
no one can uh, uh, catch fish because now it has been declared to enhance the number of fish and to save environment for 10 years there is a moratorium on catching the fish it makes a great sense and seeing the water available so it would be very good idea to flourish and of course then in future then can be more economic opportunities for the people so from environmental point of view from educational point of view from historical learning this has been a great opportunity so it's the current nature of cultural exchange and also mutual tourism between Chongqing and Pakistan. In Chongqing, uh, uh, from a tourism point of view, uh, there are many people have been going to Pakistan uh, for tourism. But the major relationship of Pakistan with the Chongqing has been in uh, uh, trade related, especially the motorcycle parts and motor vehicle parts and uh, there are very special relationship in trade but for, uh, and we are planning with the cooperation of local authorities that will promote more uh, 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 tourism opportunities and also engage with the uh, tourism agencies we were planning this year but unfortunately due to covid the moment was restricted and uh, on a Sunday, I'm going to have a meeting with the special in Chongqing areas, Chamber of Commerce. They have a very active relationship with Pakistan's Hyderabad Chamber. So we'll certainly discuss uh, this, how that we can increase tourism. And uh, But there are st around 200 Pakistani students and businessmen live in the city. So could they are very active uh, in that area. And one thing I came to know, very interesting, that I was doing some consular work of a Pakistani person. So he is a Chinese wife and just in the outskirts of uh, Chongqing, he has developed uh, a salt cave. The salt is very special. Uh, we have the second largest uh, salt mines in Pakistan. So he also uh, imports red salt from Pakistan. He used to make uh, the salt lamps. But now he has developed a spa and uh, energy health uh, cave using the salt in that area. So it was very interesting idea. So it is uh, the Pakistani guy is involved, the material is coming, his wife is Chinese, but it shows that how the collaborative, it cannot be huge numbers, but the idea, the resources, using that raw material to use your skin, beautify the skin and give you natural glow, that uh, rock salt is known to be a very good uh, remedy. Even some people go to some, uh, just like spas, are the geysers. So, so it is a very innovative example happening there, but to encourage tourism between Chongqing and uh, Pakistan, uh, unfortunately there is no direct flight between Chongqing and Pakistan, even in a Chengdu, but Kunming it was started. So, and, uh, so from this area, that only takes four and a half hours from Kunming to Islamabad. So that has also increased the numbers, but due to COVID, we, cannot uh, gauge the real impact. So from that angle, in Pakistan and Chongqing, there is a potential, but we need to tell the people, and people need to know about the opportunities, and uh, especially when we see the Chongqing's marvelous development in last two, three decades, then many people who have the direct business, they know it, and uh, from tourism potential, we hope that we need to uh, create some mechanism where Pakistani people can know more about Chongqing and Chongqing people can know more about uh, Pakistan because in Pakistan's north, especially the mountains, uh, the average height of that area is four to 5,000 meters. So that is very high. And we are planning some activities and next year because next year is going to be the 70th anniversary of Pakistan, Ch establishment of Pakistan, China, diplomatic relations. So, so we are in the process of working and we hope that by this we can create awareness and then it can be a great source of mutual uh, exchanges in tourism field. Policies are there to um, enhance cultural exchange and tourism between the two countries? Yes, for, for that we specifically aim that we have already some institutional mechanisms but we will focus uh, in 2018 uh, uh, delegation visited but right now the cultural side education we already there is a Chongqing government which gives scholarships to uh, 
Pakistani students, so they are studying in the universities of uh, Chongqing. And soon we'll be uh, talking more to Sichuan uh, International Studies University uh, that if we can encourage them to have maybe possibly explore the possibility of Urdu language. Because in the, in the Kunming there is uh, there are so we will be meeting that I'll be meeting them soon to work out about detail. And thirdly, there are already some uh, from Pakistan, some provinces, there have been delegations last year which came. And last year uh, we had our ambassadors came came twice, once to, to participate in SCO meeting. And uh, in December, our ambassador came especially to meet uh, uh, the leadership of Chongqing and some companies. Uh, and in that, we also discussed that how can we in enhance more cooperation uh, because uh, 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 this year the flow couldn't be, uh, momentum couldn't be maintained. So, other than enhancing exchange in education sector uh, and uh, exchanges between uh, the uh, institutions. In this year, we specially participated, it was related to tourism, I didn't mention in previous one, that we participated in two exhibitions. One was exclusive in GFM there for the tourism. We had a very beautiful uh, booth provided by the courtesy that the local government and a lot of people evinced interest in Pakistan. And second, then it was another exhibition in which we established a booth where we established Pakistan handicrafts and Pakistan uh, dress, which people took a great interest. And in that, we gave a lot of material and developed QR codes to encourage to tell people about the Pakistani culture. And already there is a movie uh, which is being a Pakistani movie after a long time has been uh, launched in China. That is already in uh, uh, running in Chinese cinemas in Chongqing also. In Chengdu we had the premiere, so about that we have to explore the possibility if we can arrange also a show where we can invite the people to see the Pakistani movie. It got very good response in Chengdu. It's also, I saw that it is also being in Chongqing. So we may explore that possibility that will be the concrete step that Chinese people know more about the Pakistani culture, especially the digital media.